folks, this is my first video with YouTube, my first review video. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the Cloud A from SIGGREEN. We sell it at One Stop eSig Shop in Rockingham. It's an excellent atomizer. We'll dig down, take a look at it. I'll put a build on it, show how it vapes, show how it, how it produces vapor. Uh, I've been vaping this for going on two weeks now. It's a great little addy, easy to build, easy to wick, holds a good amount of juice. Has a, it, I mean, it, it's just great. So uh, bear with me, and we will get to moving on this thing. We're going to go ahead and take a look down, unbox it, throw a build on it, and we'll be back to talk about how she vapes. Okay, this is the box that came in. It's from Sig Cloud. This is the atomizer. Get that out. It also comes with some accessories. It comes with a bottle of organic cotton. It comes with a length of silica. It comes with a length of wire. Uh, a few pre made coils. You can use those at your discretion. And a neat little screwdriver with some extra screw deck screws and some extra O-rings. That's what is underneath. And here's the atomizer. We'll go ahead and set that up on the meter here. Comes with a nice wide bore drip tip you can drip through if you want you don't necessarily have to pulls off it's secured with two o-rings it's got two drip wells this atomizer is designed to use a vertical coil rather than a horizontal coil build this helps in vapor production as well you've got a center post two negatives, you've got adjustable airflow, you can either take the, take the airflow ring off for maximum airflow, this is a dual coil airflow right here, it gives you the ability to adjust from one, two, and three airflow holes, maximizing your airflow on either side, or you've got a single, air, a single coil build airflow which allows for one airflow hole and the other side's blocked off. We'll turn this back to dual coil because we are going to do a dual coil build today. What I have done is I have prepared the coils ahead of time to make everything move just a little bit easier. We're going to build with 28 gauge twisted wire. We're going to shoot for about a .25 ohm build. <clears throat> and what we have is this. I'll go ahead. Hopefully it won't cause me to cuss too much while I'm putting this together. But we will loosen our deck screws. We'll loosen our positive post. And the easiest way to do this is to I built these on a 2.4 millimeter screwdriver. That, that works for me. You use whatever works for you. But the easiest way to do it is to wrap your coil around the negative. Secure your negative without securing your positive and wrap, put both, mount both coils and get them centered before you secure your positive. Now that's the way I do it. So people build differently, everybody does. I am by far and away not the best builder in the world. As can be seen from my initial video. <clears throat> but there's the first coil mounted. We'll straighten all that up after we get the second coil put on.
Okay, I know things have gotten kind of quiet, but I tend not to gavel when I, I work, so that will explain that. Okay, we've got our negatives secured. We're going to go ahead and clip the leads on those. Fingernail clippers always come in handy. We don't need to clip that when it's short enough. We'll neaten it up. And we will get these coils attached and centered. You can do this finger tight. I do recommend using a pair of pliers to put that last little bit of oomph on it. That way you assure yourself of a good positive connection. I'm going to take this off of the meter for a moment so that I don't break my connections in there. Make sure I get this positive good and tight. Then I'll go ahead and clip my leads. Okay, there they are. We're going to straighten these coils right quick. Right screwdriver. You got to bear with old Big John here. It's Sunday and he's kind of tired. But what I do on this particular atomizer is I try to keep my coils pretty well in line with the positive post, as you can see. Now let's go ahead and uh, slide this on a mod right quick. And we'll do a final tightening on our negatives. And our positive. Never hurts to make sure you're good. Okay. There's that. Let's see how these coils glow. Is this getting in the camera? Okay, we do have some hot spots, so we will be doing some pinch and burn, pinch and burn. Pinch those together. Then we will do the same over here. Okay, as we can see, they glow from the inside out. The one downside I have noticed with this atomizer is with the uh, with the way the positives connect, you do have a tendency to have one coil a little bit stronger than the other. Okay, be very careful when you're doing this. You do not want to touch those coils. Those bad boys are kind of hot.
now that we've pinched and burned, got everything glowing from the inside out, we're going to go ahead and check and see what our ohm reading is. Okay, we're a little bit high. We're shooting for 0.25. We've got a 0 0.40. Everything seems to be tight. Let's go ahead and put this back on the mod. And uh, we'll throw a wick in her, put some juice in, and we will see how she vapes. Okay. Now what I usually do is, I use organic cotton, I just, like I said, I had everything prepped today, and I just leave it fluffy. What we'll do is we'll take this point right here, clip the tag end off. And insert that right here. Believe me, it would be a whole lot better for y'all and for me if I were right-handed, probably. Then at least everybody could see what I was doing. <clears throat> but what you do is you just kind of twist your cotton a little bit as you pull it through that coil. You don't want it to bind within your coil. And what I do is I leave just a little bluff on the top. I had to get my scissors. I leave just a little fluff on top like this and that will allow you to drip through your drip tip if you would like. You don't have to necessarily take the, uh, the cap off to fill with. And then as I push this into the drip well, what I do is I fluff it that way it it holds the juice a little bit better. Now we will do the same on the other side. Twist and pull. And then uh, we'll clip that off about the same level the other was. Use our tweezers to push this in and fluff. This over this way and this over this way. Get some juice. Now because I, I drip quite a bit, I do keep high VG juice on hand. This is some juice that was mixed in shop mixed in shop at one stop e cig shop. That's in Rockingham, North Carolina. Our website is one stop e cig shop dot net. That is the numeral one. S T O P E C I G S H O P dot net. Give us a look. We've got some great mods. We've got some great atomizers. Our prices on starter kits are very competitive. And we uh, we feel we're very competitive. We we have a knowledgeable staff. We're open Tuesday through Saturday from ten to six. And we are available seven days a week, pretty much 24 hours a day on Facebook. You can message us on Facebook or email us off the website. Okay, let's see if this bad boy produces any vapor. Oh, 
yeah, we have some vapor going on there. Okay, that's enough for the uh, up close and how to build. And we will pull back out, take a vape on it, and talk about how she vapes. Okay, we we built the cloud. We're uh, going to go ahead and give her a quick vape. As you can see, she produces a pretty good bit of vapor. Now, this is stock from the factory. No drilling on the air holes, anything like that. Uh, great. It produces good flavor, produces good vapor. It's easy to build. We sell it at One Stop E-Cig Shop for $12.99. It comes with everything you saw in the box. We have people there that can help you with your builds. Uh, I mean, just we, we do everything we can to help you. We sell Canthal wire from 30 gauge down to 22 gauge. We sell silica wick. We sell organic cotton. We have meters. Uh, we can set you up completely. We have the Sony BTC4 in stock. And uh, like I said earlier in the video, we're open from 10 to 6, Tuesday through Saturday. Come check us out. Come pick up a cloud. If you need more airflow, we can drill it out for you. We look forward to seeing you.